Let us now take the hymn G22 Walk with me O my Lord Walk with me O my Lord Walk with me O my Lord Through the darkest night and brightest day Me and my side O Lord Opening prayer, Lord, as I walk this way, retracing the painful journey that Jesus undertook to his death, we seek your blessings and your graces, and we bring to mind our own life and struggles, and we seek help and guidance from you in strengthening ourselves against evil and temptation. Amen. The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. One of the most painful and difficult things to bear is to be falsely accused and judged and condemned. You accepted this, Lord, with calm, with dignity, and with joy, because it was your Father's will. When our turn comes, when we are falsely accused and condemned, help us not to be disturbed or annoyed, but to accept it with joy as you did for your sake. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, have mercy, have mercy on us. The second station, Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, you know what the cross meant. You must often have seen those criminals carrying those heavy beams up to Crucifixion Hill. As you received your cross and felt the weight on it on your shoulders, it must have hurt you badly. Yet, you accepted it gladly and went on your way. Many of us want to spend time and money trying to avoid pain trying to run away from crosses. Help us to realize, Lord, that if we accept our crosses joyfully as you did, remove the evil from the pain and be able to endure our difficulty more easily. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Third station, Jesus falls under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. The weight of the cross was too much for your physical strength, and so you yes. collapsed and fell, O Lord. But your spirit was not shaken. You got up and carried on. Sometimes physical pain may be too much for us to endure. Even grown-ups are known to cry. Give us courage to accept our bodies as they are in times when our bodies cannot stand the pain, may our spirit receive it with joy, with you and for you, O Lord. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Sometimes the road seems long, my energy is bad. Then, Lord, I think of you and I am given strength. Night and brightest day, be at my side, O oh Lord. Hold my hand and guide me on my way. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. It is one of the most moving encounters on your way to Calvary, meeting your mother who gave you birth, who brought you up, who encouraged your work. And in your eyes, she sees the pain and suffering which she was already made aware of. But through her gaze, she assures you of her presence. Help us to be like your mother 
who even in the midst of suffering was a model of hope and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you are redeeming the world. The weight of the cross was too much to bear. So the soldiers forced a passerby, Simon from Cyrene, to help you with the cross. Simon's initial reluctance was replaced by a sense of sympathy, and his action of help eased your burden for a little while. There are times when we behave like Simon when we are asked for help. We give all sorts of excuses. May our reluctance give way to responsible behavior in our homes, our parish, our community, and in our society. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore your Christ and we bless you. Because, because by, by Holy, Holy Cross, Cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Your bruised and battered face must have drawn sympathy from the bystanders. But one woman, Veronica, dared to wipe your face with her towel. She put her sympathy into action, and she was blessed with the imprint of your face on her towel. In times of difficulties and crisis, may we find Veronicas who would be there to soothe our troubled minds with their love and patience. Give us also the courage to be like Veronicas to others around us who are suffering and desperate. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Once again, you fell under the weight of the cross. The painful journey to your death and the continuous scourging surely sapped the energy from your body which collapsed. Yet, your goal was clear and so was your resolve. You got up and continued. Give us, Lord, the courage and the strength to persist in our struggle even when the going gets tough. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy on us. On us. Stones often mar my path, and there are times I fall. But you are always there to help me when I fall. Walk with me, O oh my Lord, through the darkest night and brightest day. Me and my side, O Lord. station, Jesus comforts the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The women of Jerusalem who were watching you and shedding tears may have done so with sympathy, but they failed to realize that there would be a time where they would have to shed tears at the downfall of Jerusalem. Jesus rebuked them and warn them about this. Lord, there can be times when we fail to recognize trouble in our own backyard. Help us to be more aware and sensitive to the situations around us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, have, Lord, mercy, have mercy on us. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore your Christ and we bless you. Because, because by, by Holy, Holy Cross, Cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. As you reach the place of the crucifixion, you fall again. And this time, the pain is terrible to bear. It looks like it's time to give up, but you don't. And you are back on your feet again to complete the punishment. There are times in our lives when we experience failure of different kinds, and very often, there is the temptation to give up the fight. Lord, may we who seek your divine help in moments of despair never feel abandoned. 
Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy on us. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by Holy, Holy Cross, Cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. The journey was complete, and the soldiers began preparing you for the cross. They stripped off your garments and cast lots for them. After the pain, it was the embarrassment of being stripped in public. Yet, you patiently bore the shame. You were robbed of your dignity, but you accepted your fate as you prepared for your death. There are times when we steal the dignity of others through our gossip and slander. We literally assassinate their char character. Some of us have experienced this ourselves. Lord, give us the strength to bear the embarrassment. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. Just as you come, the wind that waked up on the sea, conquer my living, Lord, the storms that threaten me. Walk with me, O my Lord, through the darkest night and brightest day. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by Holy, Holy Cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Having stretched you on the cross, the soldiers proceeded to nail your hands and feet. First, it was the weight of the cross in the sun. Then, it was the pain of the nails being hammered into your limbs. The blood was now being poured out for our sins and the sins of the whole world. Lord, for all our sins, we are heartily sorry, and we pray that we may sin no more. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by Holy, Holy Cross, Cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Let us spend a few moments kneeling down so that we can be one with Jesus on the cross. You were sent into this world to suffer and die so that you would gain victory over sin and death, sin that kept us away from God's love. It was sad that you had to die this way, but through your death, you broke the shackles of sin and death. Lord, there are times when we need to die to certain habits and behavior that only serve to distance us from you. Help us choose life in your name over sin and death. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, have mercy on us. <clears throat> the thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by Holy Cross we have redeemed the world. The body of Jesus <clears throat> was brought down from the cross and placed in the hands of your mother. Many of the people watching may have seen this as an end of your mission. Many may have lost hope, especially your dear disciples who lived with you and mis ministered with you. Lord, there are times when we lose hope in times of despair, when we fail to see the light at the end of the tunnel. May you accompany us in our struggle so that we may never give up and hope and fight till the end. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, have Lord, mercy, have mercy on, on us. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by Holy Cross, cross we, we have redeemed, redeemed the world. You were buried in a tomb as was customary, and the closing of the tombstone 
was like the closing of a chapter in your life. With you in the tomb were also laid the hopes and the aspirations of the disciples. But we know that this was temporary because the tomb became the symbol of hope and new life. Lord, in times when we lie buried in our imperfections, sin and despair, may we seek your strength in acting responsibly for our own good and the glory of God. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord, have mercy on us. Help me to pierce the mist that cloud my heart and mind, so that I shall not fear the steepest mountainside. Walk with me, O my Lord, through the darkest night and brighter sea. Let us pray for the intention of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and now at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. We also pray for ourselves, that we too, during this Lenten season, may be able to reflect on our lives, and follow the lives that Jesus wanted us to follow. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done, on earth as as it is in heaven. heaven. Give Give us this day our our daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray pray for us sinners, now and at our Father, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. Closing prayer. Thank you, Lord, for walking with me and for assuring me of your presence always. May this way of the cross, which I have reflected on, give me the strength to face hardships and difficulties and seek you with a sincere heart. Amen. 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 Yes, once you heal the lame and give sight to the blind Help me when I'm downcast to hold my head up high Walk with me, O my Lord Through the darkest night and brighter sea Be at my